Gracias. Distinguished guests, families, friends, please rise if you are able as we welcome Assiniboine Community College's Class of 2019.
Please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to Assiniboine Community College's 2019 graduation ceremonies. My name is Deanna Rex. I'm the Vice President Academic of the College and it is my pleasure to be your Director of Ceremonies. Thank you to each and every one of you for joining us today as we recognize the accomplishments of our graduates at this very happy celebration. We're delighted to have you. Assiniboine Community College's various campuses are proud to be situated on Treaty 1 and Treaty 2 territories and the shared traditional lands of the Cree, Oja Cree, Dakota, Dene, Anishinaabe Ojibwe people and the homeland of the Métis Nation. I ask that you now silence your cell phones and then please rise if you are able to join us in the national anthem. Today we celebrate the success of graduates from programs across the college, graduates whose success will enrich their own lives as well as their families and their communities. This year, Assiniboine Community College has students graduating from 55 certificate and diploma programs and eight Red Seal trades from the School of Agriculture Environment, the School of Business, the School of Health and Human Services, the School of Trades, Access and Community Programs, and Continuing Studies. And for the first time this year, we have graduates from the Adult Collegiate participating in this graduation ceremony. Today, 1,308 graduates mark an important accomplishment in their personal and professional lives. In addition, to, in addition to this ceremony, we also have students graduating throughout Manitoba and throughout the year from programs in rural, remote, and First Nations communities. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our platform party for today's ceremony. Platform party, please stand as you are acknowledged and remain standing. And audience, please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. Starting to my far right, Ms. Diane Shamray, Vice President, Assiniboine International. Mr. Jeff Harwood, Chair, Assiniboine Community College Board of Governors. Mr. Reg Helwer, MLA, Brandon West. Mr. Len Eslifson, MLA, Brandon East. Mr. Kelly McCrimmon, 2019 Honorary Diploma Recipient. Mr. Mark Frieson, President, Assiniboine Community College. Mr. Rick Crest, Mayor, City of Brandon. This is your platform party. <laughs> A special welcome to the many friends and family of our graduates. We know that your support has been key to the success of what we're celebrating today. Graduates, let's say thanks to your friends and family. That's what applause. 
odd. <laughs> I now call on Mr. Mark Frieson, President of Assiniboine Community College, to bring greetings. Friends and family, faculty and staff, graduates. Graduations are a time to mark achievements, and this year, students at Assiniboine have had some remarkable ones. Caitlin McCarthy and Jesse Coulter, two students in culinary arts, won a gold medal at a national competition, Taste Canada Cooks the Books. At our Skills Manitoba competition this year, we took home seven gold, seven silver, and several bronze medals. Those students uh, who won gold were invited to go to Skills Canada to compete on the national stage. And Tulsa Labonte, our student union president, who you just heard sing the national anthem, came home with a gold in IT software solutions for business. And students Robert Black and James Shaw took home silver medals in IT Network Systems Administration and Electrical Installations, respectively. <laughs> Miranda Stobe, a student in our Interactive Media Arts program, won a gold in the Logo Pitch Competition against 17 other students at the University of Manitoba. and has received much national fanfare. Our ACC Cougars women's hockey team won a national championship in the ACHA. We celebrate these Kodak moments, but graduates, I know that for each and every one of you, you have a personal story of achievement. Some of you discovered your passion early in life and were driven to succeed. But some of you discovered your passion later in life and made big sacrifices to make a change. Some of you struggled the first time you entered the education system, but flourished under the caring environment that Assiniboine instructors provide. Some of you came to us out of the necessity of needing a new career to provide for your families. Some of you left the support of and familiarity of your small northern community in search of an education, and some of you came across the world in search of a better life. Whatever your personal story of achievement, take time to celebrate it today and make sure you honor it tomorrow by putting it to use. Grads, please accept my per personal congratulations on your achievement. I would now ask Mayor Rick Crest to come forward and bring greetings on behalf of the City of Brandon. Thank you very much, President Friesen, platform guest, ladies and gentlemen, and honored uh, distinguished guest, Mr. Kelly McCrimmon. Ladies and gentlemen, especially the graduates of Manitoba, I want you to know how very important Assiniboine Community College is to our community and the city of Brandon in our surrounding area. And the reason for that sits right here. In excess of 1,300 people will graduate from Brandon University this year. Great many of them are going to walk across the platform today. And it is absolutely gratifying to me to think of the lives that have been changed, the starts that have been made here at Assiniboine Community College, and the futures that will behold from all of these people that have graduated and gained new skills in such a wide variety of disciplines. Assiniboine Community College has an outstanding record of their graduates finding jobs in their occupation within a very short time. So the contribution to the workforce of this province and beyond is absolutely mind-boggling. I would like to congratulate 
each and every graduate, all of the families and those that support them, and as well to the faculty and staff that have worked hard to pull this all together today. Before I sit down, I would like to, in advance, congratulate Mr. Kelly McCrimmon, who will be, in a few moments, awarded a honorary diploma. I've known Kelly for in excess of 30 years, and his contributions to the economic and to the social well-being of our city of Brandon through his work with the Brandon Wheat Kings and beyond is exemplary. There's a, he's a very, very fitting recipient of today's award, and the work ethic that he exemplifies and the level of community spirit that he provides is certainly makes him an outstanding recipient for this diploma. So ladies and gentlemen, a great honour for me on behalf of Brandon City Council, and I know that most of the graduates are from many, many other communities, and on behalf of your own councils and chiefs and Reeves and uh, elected officials, congratulations, good luck in your futures. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor Crest. I would now ask Mr. Len Leselson to come forward and bring greetings on behalf of the province of Manitoba. Thank you very much, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Graduates, today is your day. Um, I, I have some notes in front of me that I will follow on behalf of the uh, Minister of Education and Training, but I first want to say uh, Assiniboine Community College East Campus is right across from my street, uh, from where I live, and I was very fortunate to attend Assiniboine Community College back in the 80s for business, business administration, and, and to see the number of students that gather in, in Brandon for such an excellent post-educational opportunity is amazing to, to continue on the tradition of graduating every year more and more students. So to uh, President Mark Rison, uh, to all the staff, to the faculty, I want to congratulate all of you for the efforts you put in to train those that are the future of Manitoba and the future, I'm sure, of all of Canada. And I thank you all for that. Because it is a great honour to be here today on behalf of Premier Brian Pellister and the Minister of Education and Training, the Honourable Kelvin Gertson, uh, and my colleagues from the Manitoba Legislature, including Reg Heller, right across the street from Brandon, in Brandon West, uh, again to bring our congratulations on such a tremendous day. I do want to acknowledge, however, that we are on the territory of the Treaty 2 and homeland of the Métis Nation. I believe it is very important that we remember that as we move forward in whatever our endeavours will be. Uh, again, I'm honoured to be here today to speak to the graduates. I know uh, we have had the pleasure to honour uh, some uh, the gold medal winners from the uh, Culinary Arts Programme uh, that were uh, my guests in the Legislature, and of course the ladies hockey team uh, were our guests there as well for Reg and I. And it is such a pleasure and uh, a great opportunity to welcome each and every one of you to visit the Legislature and uh, to stop in and receive some acknowledgement that you rightfully so deserve. So to the graduates here today, I want to wish you the very best on your future endeavours, and to the, again, to the faculty, rest up because we expect you to do it all again next year. Thank you very much and congratulations again. Thank you, Mr. Esselstyn. At this time, President Mark Frieson will come forward to present our 2019 Honorary Diploma. No other sport comes close to defining Canada's modern identity quite like hockey. And if anyone knows a thing or two about hockey, it's Mr. Kelly McCrimmon. He's been making headlines for decades as a driving force in the WHL and now NHL operations. But behind the fanfare, the play-by-plays, and the highs and lows of any given season is an individual who has made a career out of his passion for a sport, a career that is defined by extraordinary leadership, straightforward business sense, and community philanthropy. Mr. McCrimmon was born and raised in Saskatchewan and moved to Manitoba to join the Brandon Wheat Kings as a player. He went on to play for the University of Michigan, 
rejoining the Wheat Kings as assistant general manager after completing his studies. In the early 90s, Kelly purchased one-third ownership of the team. At that time, it was a bold move, but it was a bold move that paid off. Kelly took sole ownership of the team in 2000, and under his guidance as owner, general manager, and head coach, the team has seen immense success. Perhaps one of the defining characteristics of Kelly's leadership style is that he sees each and every person on the team as essential to the group's success, and he treats them that way. It's the kind of leadership that where, even as general manager, coach, and owner of the Weekings, he obtained his class two license so he could trade off with the bus driver during long trips out west to BC, Washington, and Oregon. Now, Kelly, I don't know with the Vegas Gold Knights whether you're gonna get your pilot's license so you can fly the plane around, but that might be a bridge too far. It's the type of leadership that is resourceful, no nonsense, and humble. Over the years, the Wheat Kings have used their community profile to raise thousands of dollars for local charities, including West Van Dreams for Kids and the Brandon Regional Health Center Foundation. In recent years, Kelly has moved into a career in the NHL, having been named Assistant General Manager of the Vegas Golden Knights in the summer of 2016. The team went to the Stanley Cup Final in their first season and broke an NHL record for the expansion team that won 20 games in the fastest amount of time. In May, Kelly was named General Manager for the Golden Knights and announced as a 2019 inductee into the Manitoba Hockey Hall of Fame. And through it all, he and his wife Terry have stood side by side, raising two children, Chelsea and Mickey. I can think of no better place to award Kelly McCrimmon an honorary diploma than here on the ice surface at the Keystone Center. Kelly? Thank you for your kind words, uh, Mark, and uh, certainly it does feel fitting uh, to be uh, in this setting where, of course, I've spent uh, so much of my life. Uh, it's a tremendous honor uh, to be involved with uh, the graduates here today. I'm a big believer uh, in education. I'm a big believer uh, in young people. Uh, ACC is a great institution uh, in our city and uh, produces uh, many uh, talented graduates and I think uh, meaningful uh, citizens uh, in our communities and to be recognized in this way uh, today is very humbling and very special for my family and I. I'd like to congratulate the graduates on their achievement and uh, encourage you to enjoy this special day as a milestone along the way leading to the next chapter of your lives. I was asked today to speak a little bit about my journey to get to this point. As was uh, mentioned, I've been in Brandon for uh, 30 years, and for 27 of those years, I was uh, directly involved with the Wheat Kings most of those years as the general manager, uh, the head coach, and the owner. And uh, the organization, obviously, tremendously important to uh, myself, to my uh, wife, Terry, to my uh, daughter Chelsea, my son uh, Mickey. It's been a way of life uh, for us. The, in, the organization has enjoyed great success. We've won championships. We've hosted a Memorial Cup. We've enjoyed many great moments with our fans right in this building that we are in today. We've produced many NHL players. And for me, it was a proud moment last night. I was traveling uh, through the Calgary airport, watched the Stanley Cup final to see Braden Shen score a real important goal for St. Louis and to watch him hoist the Stanley Cup after the game. Of course, Braden was a real uh, proud alumni uh, of our organization. <clears throat> Hockey is a results business, and it's measured by wins and losses, playoff victories, and championships. But I can tell you here today that my personal gratification comes from the opportunity to impact people between the ages of 16 and 20 and in some small way, help to prepare them for the next stages of their lives and their life ahead. So as proud as we are of the many NHL players that have come through our program, 
We are every bit as proud of the players who have moved on to attend college or university, became husbands and fathers, and contributor, contributors to their community. Three years ago, I took a position with the Vegas Golden Knights of the National Hockey League, who are an NHL expansion team set to begin play one year later. This created a new challenge for me, certainly much different than the comfort that I had uh, working in Brandon for as many years as I did and the enjoyment that I had from doing that. But it professionally, it was tremendously rewarding and fulfilling. And for the graduates here today, there'll be a point where uh, you measure that decision and make, uh, make judgments as to uh, taking a risk, moving on to something that might be uh, a little bit scary in some respects, but sometimes uh, when it scares you a little bit, you know that it must be uh, something that you want to uh, consider. So it was uh, uh, really special for me. We had a record-breaking inaugural season, which included uh, a trip to the Stanley Cup Finals. We uh, made the playoffs again this year in, in our second uh, season on the ice. And then, as uh, was mentioned just recently, was named uh, the general manager of the Vegas Golden Knights. So to go uh, from the Wheat Kings to being an NHL general manager in three years is incredibly uh, gratifying and humbling. And I am so proud that for me, uh, my DNA is with the Brandon Wheat Kings, the city of Brandon, and that's, uh, that's where uh, I cut my teeth and the things that I've learned to put me in the position I'm in today all happened right here for me. There are a few experiences along the way that I've had that I'd like to share just in terms of them perhaps having some meaning for the graduates and some of the things that they may face in the, in the, in the future. One of the things that I talk about a lot with our players here with the Wheat Kings and now in the National Hockey League with the Golden Knights is the importance of culture in an organization. And culture is the secret sauce that separates great organizations from good organizations. I'm sure likely in your studies it's something that was talked about. It'll be part of your future in any organization that you might be a part of. And it's often for me a word that's thrown around without a true understanding of what it is or what drives it. We talk to our players in Brandon all the time about culture being the way we do things around here, about operating with integrity, about being good teammates, about being respectful of the organization, about celebrating appropriately, about handling the difficult times that you'll face because we all will, regardless of what walk of life that we're in. And I think when you build a culture, it takes time. But when I look at the organization, the Wheat King organization here, I really think that it was what distinguished our organization from a lot of other organizations uh, in the Western Hockey League or in major junior hockey period. So that's uh, something that uh, we really feel is important, we're proud of, and again, as you people move into uh, different walks of life, uh, be a good teammate. And uh, we were part of a group that did an executive search to hire the commissioner of the Western Hockey League. I was on the committee at the time, and uh, we worked with what they call an executive search firm to uh, bring in the best candidates. And they said, it's amazing how many times People are hired for their skills and fired for their personality. So it, it just uh, reinforces that you have to be a good person. We always told our players in Brandon, you'll only ever be as good a player as you are a person. And I would say the same uh, to any of the people here as they prepare for the next chapter of their lives. The other story that I thought was, uh, was relevant and, and uh, meaningful was the experience in Las Vegas with selecting an expansion team that uh, everyone in hockey expected to finish in last place, to certainly miss the playoffs, and then to enjoy the success that we did, it was the story in sports last season. And when asked to speak about it uh, and try to explain how it happened, it really, uh, for me, came down to a bunch of people who had been discarded by their existing teams. And again, this is gonna to happen to all of us uh, uh, in our lives. They came to an organization where they got more opportunity. They came to an organization with a mindset that they had something to prove. Because everyone arrived on the same day, we had no entitlement in our organization, which I think is really important. And again, something that uh, uh, you people should be mindful of uh, as you move forward. 
and we had no hierarchy. And together, that became a really powerful thing. And the one thing that I really uh, admired our players for, they got a chance, but they made the most of it. So that again is, uh, is no different than what we'll all face over the course uh, of your careers and, uh, and, your, and your work lives and your personal lives. It's no different than myself. I've had some really good opportunities put in front of me, but you need to be ready to, to do the job. You need to be ready to hold up your end of the bargain when that time, when that time comes. <clears throat> in closing, there's a few, there's a few things that, uh, that I have always felt were important. Uh, showing gratitude to the people that have helped you get to this point in your lives. So as proud as uh, the group is here, it's the people here that have been part of that success, part of that uh, support group, and are sharing in that enjoyment with you. And I really feel it's important that you uh, recognize and appreciate the people that have helped you get to the point you're at. Uh, I always tell our players, be humble. There is great strength in humility. And we've all been around the guy that's the smartest guy in the room or the strongest guy in the room or whatever character trait he might be wanting to portray. But there's great strength in humility and being comfortable in your own skin. So I would encourage that. Uh, operating with integrity. And for me, and, I, and I, I wrote it down so that I could read it, integrity is being honest, ethical, and uncompromising about the values and principles. It's understanding society's expectations and integrating those expectations into your decisions. And for me, everything you're gonna do in your lives is going to start and end with integrity. And I think that that's, uh, you know, again, a character trait that's really uh, valuable and you should appreciate in others and you should work to conduct yourself in that fashion yourselves. Uh, appreciating family, which again ties in a little bit to the comment I made uh, earlier about showing gratitude to the people that have helped you uh, to this day. Uh, being resilient and uh, as exciting as things are today and as optimistic as we all often are in terms of what lies ahead, there'll be setbacks. There always is and it's important that you're resilient. We often told our players here in Brandon that life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you handle it. And I think that's uh, uh, a point worth making. And then uh, being proud. I'm proud of my city, I'm proud of my family, I'm proud of the Wheat Kings. I expect that you people uh, should feel that way. Pride should be a big part of your life. And, uh, and again, combined uh, with humility, I think is a very, powerful, a very powerful tool. I'm a big believer in education. I have an undergraduate degree, I have a master's degree, but I'm also a real proponent of continuing ed education outside of formal education. Be a constant learner, be curious, ask for answers, continue to educate yourself throughout your entire life, always strive to be better. And that can be done all in the context of, you know, maintaining a family, maintaining a professional career, always push yourselves to be better. So again, congratulations, I wish you great success uh, in the future, enjoy your day, and uh, a job well done. Thank you, Mr. McCrimmon. At this time, I would like to call upon Tulsa Labonte, the outgoing president of the ACC Students Association, to introduce our valedictorian. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to all. My name is Tulsa Labonte, and this past year I've had the honor of representing and serving the student body as the president of the ACCSA. Congratulations to all the graduates today. Our hard work has finally paid off, so let's take pride in our achievements and enjoy ourselves. The valedictorian for this year is Shelby Mimko. Shelby has been an amazing student in all aspects during her time at ACC. Not only has she been top of her class as an interactive media arts student, but she also went above and beyond as VP of Events and Marketing for the Students Association. So without further ado, please help me welcome Shelby up to the stage.
Good afternoon, family, friends, faculty, staff, and of course, graduates. Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a traditional South African maxim. The English translation is, I am because of you. I say Ubuntu to everyone in this room. I am because of you in front of you here today to celebrate the success and achievements of each of us, the 2019 graduating class of Assiniboine Community College. Today we become Assiniboine graduates, alumni of the college. The home of the ACC Cougars is also the home of tomorrow's professionals in agriculture and environment, business, health and human services, culinary arts, hotel and restaurant management, technology, mechanical, and construction trades. No matter what our reasons were for choosing Assiniboine, what, what is important now is that we are all here today to celebrate our triumphs, our achievements, our victories, and our education, both individually and as a community. And the journey on which we have all embarked towards our future destinations. I'm Shelby Mimko, an interactive media arts student graduating with a design specialization. I was lucky to be chosen by my fellow students to serve on your Students Association as Vice President of Events and Marketing. This experience not only taught me more about the industry that I am now entering, but it taught me about being connected to the community and connected to the people around me. I became friends with students that I would never have had the chance to meet otherwise. I met community members that changed me, and I developed a greater appreciation for people from all walks of life. We as students have worked fiercely to achieve every goal set in front of us in our programs. We have spent countless hours after classes working on assignments, projects, studying for exams, and trying to meet deadlines. There were times when I can say, I wanted to quit. Things were getting too hard. But the community around me continued to support me, and I remembered why I was here in the first place. I have a dream for my future, and this is part of the journey. No pain, no gain. To the, achievement, the achievements of this class would not have been possible without the help, support, and guidance of our families and teachers, counselors and coaches, deans and staff, and the overall inspiration from the entire college community. To these mentors, I say, our success is your success. For you have given us the courage to dare, the knowledge to excel, and the belief that we can succeed. You have encouraged us and instilled in us the self-confidence needed to reach our dreams. For all of these things, we, the class of 2019, thank every single one of you. To my fellow graduates, I quote F. Scott Fitzgerald. For what it's worth, it's never too late, or in my case, too early, to be whoever you want to be. There is no time limit. Start whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. There are no rules to this thing. We can make the best or worst of it. I hope you make the best of it. I hope you see things that startle you. I hope you feel things that you've never felt before. I hope you meet people who have a different point of view. I hope you live a life that you're proud of. And if you're not, I hope you have the courage to start all over again. And for the IMA students that I have shared the classroom with over the last two years, who have become my friends and family, I'll leave you with these words. Be bold or italic, but never be regular. And always trust your creativity. Every end has a new beginning. Today might be the last day for some of us as students at ACC, but I believe our learning has just begun. Continue to learn, to grow, to fail, and to succeed in this journey as we continue to be students of life. In closing, I say Ubuntu. I am because of you. My friends, my family, my fellow students, our teachers, and our college staff. I am because of you, my class, my campus, my community. I am grateful for the opportunity I have been given to learn and grow at Assiniboine, and I look forward to sharing my knowledge with those I meet in the future. I am because of you, my experiences, and my education. Congratulations to us, the graduating class of 2019.
Thank you, Shelby. I would now like to invite Crystal Bunn from our Indigenous Affairs Department to share the significance and the meaning of the honor song. Welcome everyone, graduates. The significance of the honor song. Today we will hear Riverside Dakota from the Sioux Valley Dakota Nation sing an honor song for our graduates. The honor song is a way in which Indigenous peoples honor a person or persons. The song is considered to be one of the most res respected ways of acknowledging an achievement or a highly reputable act. The sense of pride and recognition that it instills in the person it is sung for is beyond measure. In honoring our graduates with this song, we would also like to recognize those family members, friends, and staff that have provided students with the support and motivation throughout the year. We thank each and every one of you for making that special effort to be with us on this momentous day. Your presence has given each of, us, each of the students hope, confidence, dignity, courage, and most of all, honor to face the future with their heads held high. The honor song is not only meant for Indigenous people, but for all nations present. Today, we honor our students. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you. For those that are able to stand, please rise. Thank you. Thank you, Riverside, Dakota. <laughs> President Frizon, we now turn to the most important part of our proceedings, 
the presentation of certificates and diplomas to our graduates. Mr. Murray Oliver from the Interactive Media Arts Program will come forward to announce the names of our graduates. Good afternoon, family, friends, invited guests. The 2019 graduates of the Mature Student High School Program Diploma are as follows. Adone Seble. Alexander Butson. Melody Chai. Kayla Cameron. Lisa Constant. Rodaby Espigol. Miranda Heidi. Larissa Hotain. Clorinda Leba. Margaret McDonald. Anthony McKinney. Enoch Uskan. Tessa Perry. Carol Ricart. Chantel Taylor. That concludes the graduates of the 2019 Mature Student High School Diploma Program. The 2019 graduates of the Agribusiness Diploma Program are as follows. Carter Bowman. Logan Klein. Caitlin Davey. Chase Desroches.
Joe Diverse. Riley Dooley. Celine Fafard. Anthony Fiala. Dane Fortin. Emily Jingra. Eric Gribba. Kieran Haight. Megan Hutzelak. <laughs> Justin Kozlowski. Caden <laughs> Lazarek. Nelson Lee. <laughs> Jesse Lungall. <laughs> Keevan Martins. <laughs> Shelby Mosner. Kirsten Myers. <laughs> Jamie Nealon. <laughs> James Reed. Grady Rutledge. Sarah Shaw. <laughs> Haley Stockotelny. Terrence to Kylo. Brandon Tilbury. Cool Tilbury. Luke Van Dam. Jan Verbruggen. Parker Witherald. Tyler Willeman. Megan Williamson. Kaelin Winter. Kelsey Wokevich. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the 2019 graduates of the Agribusiness Diploma Program.
The 2019 graduates of the Environmental Technologies Land and Water Management Diploma Program are as follows. Dirk Bota. Cameron Cheddarbuck. Dustin Greger. Matthew Huberdu. Jessica Hutchinson. Vrunda Patel. Anna Aletta Potgeeter. Abraham Vandermeerwey. That concludes, ladies and gentlemen, the 2019 graduates of the Environmental Technologies Land and Water Management Diploma Program. Now, the 2019 graduates of the Geographic Information Systems Advanced Diplo Diploma Program are Karmjeet Barar. Inderpreet Singh. Janal Patel. Savan Patel. Vishai Sharma. That concludes the 2019 graduates of the Geographic Information Systems Advanced Diploma Program. The 2019 graduates of the Sustainable Food Systems Advanced Diploma Program are as follows. Amandeep Barar. Karandeep Singh. Lovepreet Singh. Vikram Puri. Kunal Setia. Harpakarsh Singh Teje. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the graduates for 2019 of the Sustainable Food Systems Advanced Diploma Program. The 2019 graduates of the Civil Technology Municipal Engineering Diploma Program are as follows. Jesse Kreef. Deborah K. Dawal. Christy Ann Winger. Distinction. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the 2019 graduates of the Communications Engineering Technology Diploma Program. Fadi El Sai, distinction.
Prati Giwala. Scott Jersak. Adam Lennox, distinction. Jairo Mosquera Rivas. That concludes the 2019 graduating class of the Communication Engineering Technology Diploma Program. The 2019 graduates of the Baking Foundations Certificate Program are as follows. Navpreet Kaur Dillon. Prabjot Kaur. Now the Culinary Foundations Certificate Program graduates for 2019. Pankish Dawan, distinction. Anvita Gai, distinction. Kirandeep Kara. Manveer Negra. Parwinder Sekon, distinction. Maninderjeet Singh. And now the 2019 graduates of the Culinary Arts Diploma Program. Sydney Acey. <laughs> Delen Bowman. Morgan Bone. Jesse Coulter. <laughs> Keenan Denny. <laughs> Avery de Grossilaires. Larissa Clausen. Caitlin McCarthy, distinction. Dawson McKay. Mark Mirasol. Kieran Picton. Miles Reed. Sean Taylor. Cassandra Twig. Dylan Wall. Cashton Wilson.
and now the 2019 graduates of the Professional Cooking Certificate Program. Jasmeet Dillon. Bhuvan Gulati. Gurpreet Kaur. Navdeep Kaur. Pritpal Singh. The following ladies and gentlemen are the graduates for 2019 of the Hotel and Restaurant Management Diploma Program. Cassidy Gordon. Changnam Lee. Shen Ying Lee. Aljona Lubitska. Irena Mihaluk. Valentina Pilipchuk. That concludes the Hotel and Restaurant Management Diploma Program. The following are the 2019 graduates of the Hotel and Restaurant Management Certificate Program. Akshdeep Singh. Amandeep Singh. Tenvir Badwan. Joshandeep Bedi. Harmeet Barar. Harman Dhaliwal. Akashdeep Dillon. <laughs> Daya Singh. <laughs> Jasmine Grayal. <laughs> Gurbaz Singh. Gurkirat Singh. Harman Preet Singh. Harpreet Kaur. Ramandeep Jalohain. Jansur Singh. Barakat Jamal. Ramandeep Kaur. Satnam Singh. Harsumit Sidhu. <laughs> Sukman Singh. And that concludes the 2019 class of graduates for the Hotel and Restaurant Management Certificate Program. 
The following are the 2019 graduates for the Accounting and Finance Advanced Diploma Program. Adeyemi Adeshina. Damanjeet Banwit. Amarveer Barar. Gaurav. Tasha Gray Distinction. Harveer Gruel. Yakti Gupta. Harmanjot Singh. Hashanpreet Singh. Rushandeep Kaur. Nimirdeep Sekon. Gaganpreet Singh. Sunday Obayopo. <laughs> Angeli Joy Tassara Distinction. <laughs> Tian Kiao Jai. That concludes the 2019 graduating class of the Accounting and Finance Advanced Diploma Program. The following are the graduates of the 2019 Business Administration Diploma Program. Jana Alieva, Distinction. Jared Brown. Chelsea Collier. Skylene Crow. Rebecca Curl. Emma DeVos. Andrea Dillon, distinction. Aaron Doherty. Tess Elchuk, distinction. Estrada Briones Miriam. Hunter Gale. Brianne Gasky. Herman Jot Singh. Jason Jansons. Nicole Jarvie. Dean Kalinowski. Tulsa Labonte, distinction.
Jordan Lajeunesse. Riley Lenouette, distinction. Robin Leslie. Jennifer McBride. Haley McKinnon. Thomas Mebs, distinction. Khalid Miller. Brianna Porter. Heaven Lee Prodzik. William Renka. Christian Schenkel. Ravneet Singh. Sarabjat Singh. Nicole Steele. Julie Thorkelson. Evan Walker. Hillman Williams. Samantha Yakalashik. Tanya Zagers. That concludes the graduates of the 2019 Business Administration Diploma Program. The following are the graduates of the 2019 General Business Certificate Program. MD Noor Alam, distinction. <laughs> Jessica Brooks. <laughs> Lana Church. <laughs> Gurpreet Kaur. Monica Jengam, distinction. Nora Johnston. Prabdeep Makar. That concludes the 2019 class of graduates for the General Business Certificate. The following are the graduates from the 2019 Interactive Media Arts Diploma Program. Tanner Bennett, distinction. Lane Campbell. Sean Castleman. Tyler Crivier.
Joshua Delarond. Brooks Freeman, distinction. Delaney Gamash. Jory Gibb. Seth Gregorish. Tyler Head. Kelsey Henningsen, distinction. Alessandra Herrera. Morgan James. Spencer Kempoulet. Zachary Kitchen, distinction. Moyin Lu, distinction. Taylor MacArthur, distinction. Masanye, thank you. Daniel Masanye, distinction. Shelby Mimko, distinction. Miranda Stobie, distinction. That concludes the graduates from the 2019 class of Interactive Media Arts Diploma Program. Next up are the graduates of the 2019 class Legal Administration Diploma Program. Brittany Jans, distinction. Morgan Manser, distinction. <laughs> Natalie McLaughlin, distinction. <laughs> Alicia Patelski. <laughs> that concludes the 2019 class of graduates for the Legal Administration Diploma Program. The following are the graduates of the 2019 Medical Administration Diploma Program. Carly Farrow. <laughs> Brittany McAdams, Distinction. That concludes the Medical Administration Diploma Program. The following are the graduates of the 2019 class of the Office Skills Certificate Program. Ashpreet Kaur. <laughs> Kayla Pratt. That concludes the Office Skills Certificate Program list of graduates. The following are the graduates of the 2019 class of the Network Administration Technology Diploma Program. James Bell, distinction. Matthew Drummond. Logan Ivasco. Alan Furness. Andy Foost.
Joshua Heffron. Adrian Passaporte. Hardik Patel. Hui Chi Distinction. Brett Stewart. Matthew Waits. That concludes the graduates from the 2019 class of the Diploma Program of Network Administration Technology. The followers, the, fo the following are the 2019 class of Network Administration Technician Certificate Program. Uday Raj Singh Arora. Balkan Brar. Mohan Chani. Arshdeep Combo. And that concludes the 2019 graduating class from the Network Administration Technician Certificate Program. The following are the graduates of the 2019 class of the Comprehensive Healthcare Aid Certificate Program. Ashpreet Kaur. <laughs> Jessica Bukes. <laughs> Amanpreet Buller, Distinction. Jasmeet Saini. Jagdeep Sidhu. Tanvi, distinction. Jagdeep Gill. Amrit Paul Sidhu. Congratulations. Rodney Espigal. Carol Ricart. Carol Ricart. Claudette Demers, distinction. Lisa Drone. Eleanor Eagle. Amrit Paul Gill. Gurpreet Gill, distinction. Karanveer Gill, distinction. Manveer Gill, distinction. Sandeep Gruwal. Karmanjot Singh. Luisa Gutierrez Miranda. Monica Gutierrez Miranda. Megan Hapa. Yeah. 
Melanie Hool. Julie Huntrod, distinction. Hajrat Ibiduni. Jaskaran Singh. Chahat Joshi, distinction. Ahmed Katuli. Arshdeep Kaur. It's okay, you can walk. Rupinder Kaur. Kawaljeet Kaur, distinction. Amanpreet Kara. Emily Kindlein. Celine Krantz, distinction. Harpreet Kunar, distinction. Rory Late. Jonathan Lawless. Desiree Lemon. Manmeet Kaur, distinction. Sonia Manz, distinction. Amy McIntosh. Navi Moria, distinction. Sydney Morris. Maxine Musso. Navjot Kaur, distinction. Heather Newman. Naomi Oshoikpor Obose. Sagar Patel, distinction. Brandy Porteous. Rai Singh, distinction. Morgan Rhodes. Rupinder Kaur, distinction. Victoria Salieva. Catherine Schlosser. Riha Sharma, distinction. Janelle Sherman Wood. Shoop 
Karan Singh. Siddak Deep Core Distinction. <laughs> Harkirat Singh. <laughs> Shelley Smith. <laughs> Sukhpreet Core Distinction. Money Tour Distinction. And that concludes the 2019 class from the Comprehensive Healthcare Aid Certificate Program. The following are from the 2019 class of the Early Childhood Education Diploma Program. Ade Ronke Adeyinka. <laughs> Kian Elde. <laughs> Brittany Obi. Here you go. Blair Bodie, distinction. Blair Delamere, distinction. <laughs> Braley Didachuk, distinction. <laughs> Brianne Dick. <laughs> Lindsay Keeble, distinction. Linos Lewis, distinction. Ya Katarina Lee. Nicole Longfee, distinction. Samantha McLaughlin. Haley Michelson. Yeah. Kendall Omalano. Yeah. Distinction. Schultz. Kirsten Schultz. That concludes the 2019 class from the Early Childhood Education Diploma Program. The following are from The following are from the 2019 class of the Early Childhood Program Management Di Advanced Diploma Program. Lilia Bendersky Distinction. Dana Blackbird. <laughs> Courtney Rule, distinction. That concludes the 2019 class from the Early Childhood Pro Program Management Program Advanced Diploma. The following are from the Education Assistant Certificate Program. Sophia Elvarado. Karen Avalos, distinction. <laughs> Samantha Fredrickson, distinction. Janile. Shannon Janile, distinction. <laughs> 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 
Thomas Hinch Distinction. Valerie McKickern, Distinction. <laughs> Courtney McKay, Distinction. <laughs> Shayla McCuit. Omobola Obeopo. <laughs> Distinction. Jackie Peterson. Alicia Van Mile. Distinction. And that concludes the 2019 class of graduates from the Education Assistant Certificate Program. <laughs> the following are the graduates of the 2019 Police Studies Certificate Program. Jara Green, Distinction. <laughs> and that concludes the 2019 Police Studies Certificate program. The following are the graduates from the 2019 Practical Nursing Diploma Program. Sawyer Balkan. Drew Davies. Tina DeRocher. Distinction. Jesse Emmanuel Dizon, Distinction. <laughs> Colleen Dorian, Distinction. Eamon? Danielle Eamon, Distinction. <laughs> Kenzie Formo, Distinction. Janet Francisco, Distinction. <laughs> Jenity Hoff, Distinction. <laughs> Rachel Kim, Distinction. <laughs> Rosella Labitoria. Svetlana Lupanchuk. <laughs> Julie Martens, Distinction. <laughs> Kerrigan Plant. <laughs> Skylar Powell. Jasmine Proto. <laughs> Shelby Ricker, Distinction. <laughs> Cheyenne Ryland, Distinction. <laughs> yeah. Tiffany Senye, Distinction. Melissa Smith. <laughs> Shelby Stewart, Distinction. <laughs> Brittany Wolf, Distinction. Crystal Wolf, Distinction. Jenna York, Distinction. 
That concludes the 2019 class from the Practical Nursing Diploma Program. The following are the graduates from the 2019 class of the Social Service Worker Diploma Program. Rebecca Baer. Ashea Beatty. Brianna Burton. Kirsten Dick. Chantel Flett. Bailey Hayward. Samantha Croker, distinction. CJ McEnroy. Afusat or Ed Digby. Darian Pont. Renee Rivard, distinction. Amy Scribe. Belina Spence. Miranda Travers. Mackenzie Wanless. Tawny Zerke. And that concludes the class from the 2019 Social Service Worker Diploma Program. The following are the graduates from the 2019 Automotive Technician Certificate Program. Mark Jason Espeos, distinction. <laughs> Kyle McGowan, distinction. <laughs> Mitchell Patterson. <laughs> Dela Rodriguez. Corbin Rubenyuk. And that concludes the class from the 2019 Automotive Technician Certificate Program. The following are the graduates from the 2019 Construction Electrician Certificate Program. Jason Brockman, distinction. Bradley Devlu, distinction. <laughs> Wei Dong Shi. That concludes the 2019 class from uh, the Construction Electrician Certificate Program. The following are from the 2019 class of the Heavy Duty Equipment Technician Diploma Program. Joshua Acey. <laughs> Theo Bosk, distinction. James Coxon.
James Gillis. Broderick Melnick. Wyatt Melnick. Joel Workington. That concludes the class from the 2019 Heavy Duty Equipment Technician Diploma Program. The following are from the 2019 Heavy Duty Equipment Technician Certificate Program. Colin Brodeur. Nicholas Cantello Ward. Johanna Gracier. Jeremy Grenier, distinction. Sarah Keen, distinction. Tobias Trandifer. And that concludes the class from the 2019 Heavy Duty Equipment Technician Certificate Program. The following are from the 2019 class of the Power Engineering Certificate Program. Alexander Achille, distinction. Alex Cook, distinction. <laughs> Melvin Hernandez, distinction. Adam McClelland, distinction. Logan Singfat, distinction. And that concludes the 2019 class from the Power Engineering Certificate Program. The following are the class from the 2019 Heavy Equipment Operator Certificate of Achievement Program. Connie Harper. Kyle Ironman. Dustin Musso. Graham Procure. Courtney Rule. Justin Stevens. And that concludes the 2019 class from the Heavy Equipment Operator Certificate of Achievement Program. The following are from the Agricultural Equipment Technician Apprentice Program from the class of 2019. Donald Thiessen. The following are from the 2019 class of uh, Carpenter Apprentices. Scott Kowalik. Riley Korchak. And that concludes the 2019 class from the Carpenter Apprentice Program. The following is the class from the 2019 Welder Apprentice Program. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Gloa.
And that concludes all of the graduates from the 2019 programs from Assiniboine Community College. Congratulations, graduates. Each year, Assiniboine Community College awards the Lieutenant Governor's Silver Medals to honor students who are recognized by college staff and other students as having achieved outstanding academic performance and contributing to the college and the community. President Mark Frieson will now make the presentation. The first recipient of the Lieutenant Governor's Silver Medal is Shelby Mimco. Interactive Media Arts, Interactive Specialization. Shelby is a prior graduate of media production and today graduates from Interactive Media Arts, specializing in interactive design, which she earns today with distinction. Shelby exemplifies the qualities necessary to be honored with this award. She's demonstrated exceptional academics, has participated in numerous college and community activities and proved to have the characteristics needed to achieve success for herself and encourage others to achieve success as well. She has volunteered in external activities with nonprofit groups and college events such as the Brandon Career Symposium. She competed successfully in several competitions including the Manitoba New Venture Championship, Iron Web 2019, where her logo was selected for the client's website, and Skills Manitoba, where she won a gold medal in the web design category. In addition to having achieved exceptional academic success, Shelby tutored other students in the coding course and played a leadership role in the planning and implementation of student communications and student events as her role of Vice President Events and Marketing for the Students Association. Congratulations, Shelby. The second recipient of the Lieutenant Governor Silver Medal is Jara Green, Police Studies. Jara began her journey as a student in the Police Studies program in September. Before her program began, she was hired as an auxiliary cadet with the Rivers Police Service and managed to make local media almost right away by rescuing a litter of dogs in that community. Jara was an outstanding representative of student athletes at the college. She maintained a 4.2 grade point average in police studies while playing for women's soccer and futsal teams. She's a leader in all areas of her life, modeling the behavior she wishes to see in others. Her leadership and athletic skills are the reasons why she was chosen as women's soccer most valuable player was selected to the Manitoba College's Athletic Conference All-Stars Soccer Team, was named Conference Athlete of the Week, and Assiniboine's Female Athlete of the Year. She showed leadership for the LGBTQ community, playing sport, helping to support other student athletes who might be struggling with their identity. In addition to class and athletics, she volunteered her time in the community, averaging five hours a week, she is selfless, kind, and generous, accomplished, and humble. Congratulations, Jenna. That concludes today's graduation proceedings. In closing, may I extend heartfelt congratulations to our graduates on behalf of all faculty and staff. And I'd like to thank our faculty and staff many of whom are in, in attendance today. Thank you for all that you do to prepare our students for the next stage of their careers. There are a number of people who participated in our celebration today who I'd like to acknowledge. Members of the platform party, including our distinguished guests, our Piper, Robert McKay, Tulsa Labonte, our soloist for the national anthem, Riverside, Dakota, for the honor song for the graduates, and the college's graduation committee and the many volunteers who contribute to these ceremonies, the pre-grad barbecue and the reception to follow. Well done, all of you. A few announcements. 
Everyone present is invited to a reception hosted by the college. It begins immediately following our ceremony in the Manitoba room. Please remain as you are where the graduate, until the graduates, the platform party, and the faculty proceed out of the arena. Guests, feel free to make your way to the reception in the Manitoba room once the graduates have left the arena. Thank you for joining us today. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the class of 2019.